sleep, 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 and I am wearing clothes. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm here on my iPhone. I know I wanted to film this video for you today and I just wanted to stop by and say hi. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're back on our five areas of health and we're gonna be talking about sleep. And sleep is so tough, especially for me, but it is so important. And I will tell you that in any of these five areas of health, if we neglect any single one of them, it's going to be really hard to keep everything on balance. So I think it's super important to realize that even though you have a good diet and you exercise regularly and you might be really good at keeping yourself relieved from stress, if you're not getting good sleep, it's gonna be really difficult. So make sure that you take a look at all of the videos in this five areas of health. We've got one more coming next week. And also make sure that you try your very best. I know it's really hard to be perfect right off the bat, but try your best. And what I notice is that if you are having a really good time at say diet and exercise, but you're having a hard time at sleep, make the weaker parts the priority and everything will eventually grow and balance out together. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I do to make sure that I have really good sleep on a regular basis. I have suffered from level four adrenal fatigue in the past. I've talked to you guys about that. And really for me, the number one thing that made the biggest difference in the world was actually getting sleep. And if you've been sleep deprived for many years or for a long time, you may not even know that your sleep needs some addressing. Like I really thought that I only needed five to seven hours of sleep and I was fine. And what I realized, it, looking at kids in general, is that when they get overtired, it's really hard to get them to sleep, and then the next day, they just sort of fall into that cycle. And what happens is the body starts to produce more uh, hormones out of the adrenals. It starts asking for more because that's where it's getting your energy and it's pumping more adrenaline and cortisol. And that imbalance is really taxing not only on your adrenals, but on your body because you're getting all these imbalances of hormones and wondering why it's difficult to get sleep or to stay asleep or while you're cranky at certain times, you might have lows during certain times of the day, or you might feel like you can't function without your coffee in the morning. Those are a few good examples that you might need to focus on getting a little more sleep. So the first thing that I did was I actually utilized help. I don't like recommending melatonin because studies have shown that there may or may not be good side effects, but if you're getting started or you feel like you have adrenal fatigue, you can use melatonin or some herbal support for the adrenals and it'll help sort of kick your body in gear to say, hey, you're tired, get ready for sleep. It's ideal that you take these things before bedtime, maybe half an hour before because that way you're getting to bed on time. I highly recommend if you do use supplements or things like that, make sure you're checking with your doctor or your health care provider first to make sure that it's healthy and safe for you. I also don't recommend using it for longer than five or six days if that doesn't go over what the label says. Reason being is because I don't want to become dependent on it and of course I don't really know what the side effects are. It's left and right so I try as very hard as I can to keep things as natural and as organic as possible but if you do need a little help no worries about that. I'm totally down for that. Other things that I like doing is drinking some nice chamomile or lavender tea when I'm on my way to bed. I also like using my essential oil diffuser, putting lavender and some of those scents that are really calming and relaxing. I do like the night lights or like the salt lamps which help really tone down the mood and make feel everything feel sort of warm and cozy. I also like utilizing things like brainwave or binaural soundtracks. The things that I've used for years are Holosync and Brain Ev or brain evolution, something like that. Um, those are some great things because they actually have tracks that are catered to helping you sleep. And I find that if I meditate using those on a regular basis, I tend to get better sleep in general because my brain waves just seem to be functioning on that level, doing things like deep breathing and meditating before going to bed, and also having a really good nighttime routine before. So I set my alarm every single day at 9 p.m. By 9.15, after I hit the snooze because I typically always hit the snooze I know that I have to get up brush my teeth put my jammies on turn on my essential oil diffuser and start winding down get in bed I like to read or do something really low-key something that doesn't make me think or get me excited like watching a movie is not a good idea or reading like a suspenseful book that makes you want to turn the pages not really a good idea either I've also read that getting sleep before 10 p.m. is more restful meaning if you get sleep 
after 10 p.m. you don't really get as much good rest as you would before. I know that sounds weird and I don't know if it's exactly true. I know that some people feel like they get great sleep at, even after 10 p.m. But for me, I've noticed it makes a huge difference if I get sleep after 10 p.m. I actually usually wake up cranky and feeling like I'm tired still. And getting sleep before 10 p.m., I tend to sleep longer and wake up feeling super restful. So I highly recommend trying that and setting an alarm and just giving it a good go. In the beginning, you might feel like you're sleeping all the time and sometimes when you're catching up on sleep, it feels like the next day you wake up tired. You're thinking, what the heck, I got 10 hours of sleep last night and I feel so tired like I could sleep some more all day. I take this as a sign that your body is waking up to the awareness that you actually need more rest and sleep. It's saying, wow, I got 10 hours of sleep, I feel really good. I think I could use more. And I found that for the first couple of months, I actually needed more. Like I needed at least 10 hours to kind of catch up because it's been so many years of relying on substances or relying on my adrenaline or my adrenals to pump out more hormones to keep myself awake. So eventually you find a balancing point. And for myself right now, I need about seven and a half to eight hours of sleep and I'm totally good. But I do realize just to sort of reiterate it again, that if I get those seven hours of sleep after 10 p.m., it really doesn't feel restful at all. So those are some things that I do to get myself to sleep. Sometimes I do some nighttime yoga and I find any possible way that I can relax, taking a warm bath with some candle lights, whatever it takes you to relax. If you have an awesome partner or spouse like I do, sometimes he'll give me a little foot massage and it's just a really nice thing to just come down to and create positive reinforcement around sleep. If you're like me, sometimes I just say, ah, I wish we didn't have to sleep if I didn't have to sleep, that's eight more hours that I have in my day. But I realize that I am 10 times more productive when I get those eight hours of sleep and I don't try to shortcut it. So if there are other things that you guys do to get yourself more sleep or that you find helpful to getting to sleep, leave it in the comments below. Make sure you hit thumbs up on this video if you like it. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. I hope that all these videos in this series totally help you out. If you guys have any, have any questions or concerns that you wanna cover, we can definitely do a Q&A at the end of this series so that we make sure that you guys feel thoroughly understood about this topic. I hope that made sense in English, um, but I hope you feel like you understand it thoroughly. And I thank you guys so much for being here. We are on an airplane tomorrow. So I am going to do my best to come here Freedom Friday. Even if it's at the end of the day, you're gonna get your video. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I will see you on Friday. Ciao.